Alright guys, by now you've all heard about the McDonald's Boo Buckets, a retro Happy Meal release based on the classic Halloween Pals from 1989. Ah! It's been a lot of fun going through my social media feeds and seeing person after person just driving around their town trying to find all three Pals. I mean, that's really what it's all about. This whole thing, it's just a, it's a fun little activity to make the 2022 Halloween season distinct. Now, because of the new Happy Meal, nostalgia for old McDonald's Halloween stuff is at an all-time high. From the buckets, to the McNugget Buddies, to the old TV commercials, to that one cartoon where Ronald looked like a background character from As Told by Ginger, people have a lot of Halloween memories tied to Mickey D's. So in this video, I wanted to show you five of the random old McDonald's Halloween items that I've collected over the years. And I'm going to stick with the deep cuts here. I'm not going to talk about things that you've already heard about a million times. Before we get to the first item, I'm going to need you to watch a TV commercial from 1993 promoting very cheap hamburgers. This Halloween, make sure your costume doesn't prevent you from enjoying our delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Because they're only 31 cents from now until October 31st when you buy any drink. That commercial was from Canada, and so is the item I am holding here, which ties directly to it. This is a McDonald's counter display from 1993, promoting hamburgers for the low, low price of 31 cents each. These cardboard displays attached right onto the registers, so as soon as you got on the line at McDonald's, you'd be staring at this ghost and trying to mentally figure out exactly how many 31 cent hamburgers you could eat without exploding. Like I said, this is from Canada, but I would not be surprised if we had the same exact promotion running in the States at the same time. I mean, we certainly had other promotions here over the years where McDonald's sold hamburgers and cheeseburgers extremely cheap. And that is no baloney. Next up is this 1990s ceramic McDonald's jack-o'-lantern. Look at the gorgeous glow pouring out of its ocular arches. I love this thing. I don't know the exact history of this pumpkin, but I think it's safe to say that it was never available to the general public. My best guess is that it was in some sort of like employee catalog, or maybe it was just something McDonald's sent off to its corporate business partners. <laughs> Whatever the case, it's pretty rare. I waited a long time to find one for a reasonable price. Some sellers want hundreds of dollars for this thing. So I'm sure some of you are looking at this and you are thinking that you need one. You are ready to search eBay and spend whatever amount of money it takes. So if you need somebody to be the voice of reason, I can do that. If you are considering buying one of these McDonald's Halloween ceramic pumpkin things, yeah, no price is too high. Do whatever it takes. Take a second mortgage if you have to. It is freaking beautiful, and I swear to God, it will improve every single aspect of your life. Garfield's Halloween Adventure, sponsored by McDonald's, where it's a good time with Ronald and his friends. Okay, with all of the hysteria surrounding the Boo Buckets, it's perfect timing for this third item. This is a genuine McDonald's Halloween Buckets internal use only poster from 1990. This was part of a promotional kit sent to every participating McDonald's that year, and it was meant to teach employees how to build the buckets and how to stuff the buckets. This poster would have hung back in the kitchen somewhere, and as you can see, they gave out a different pail each week throughout October. And they were careful to point out that the food should be placed right inside the buckets, which was a huge part of the appeal to us as kids. You know, I've said it before, but the stink of McDonald's food got stuck in that plastic and never, ever let go. 
To this day, if you find a McDonald's pail at a yard sale or a flea market or whatever, I guarantee you that it will still smell at least a little bit like french fries. How do you know you're gonna love the taste of these fries? That's how. There's nothing like the world famous taste of McDonald's crispy golden french fries. Despite the fact that it was never meant to be seen by actual customers, I love how they still designed this poster to look fun. Like I'm sure it was a hassle for employees to have to spend a month shoving cheeseburgers into plastic pails for no extra pay, but at least they got to look at this bright happy poster while they did it. Not exactly a Christmas bonus, but it wasn't nothing. We also want you to keep your hair controlled and under your hat at all times. But guys, your hair should not exceed the bottom of your earlobes or hang over your collar. Okay, the fourth item, man, this is a big one. This is definitely the coolest thing I'm gonna show you today. So you obviously all remember the Halloween McNugget Buddies, right? Those were the Happy Meal toys that dressed Chicken McNuggets up in Halloween costumes. They might be even more popular than the buckets, and a lot of people have made it their mission to collect all of them. But there are four Halloween McNugget Buddies that almost none of you have, and in fact, almost none of you have even heard of. From a 1998 Happy Meal exclusive to Australia, this is an extra set of four Halloween McNugget Buddies who all glow in the dark. I actually don't know if they had proper names, but this one is dressed like a ghost. And then this one is dressed like a werewolf, I think. And then we have what is either Frankenstein or a scuba diver. And then finally, this vampire McNugget, who is clearly the best in the set. I love his lime green hands, which make absolutely no sense, but just look awesome. Look, these Australian Halloween McNugget Buddies, they are really hard to find and they are very expensive. So they're kind of for completist collectors only. Talk about the sick, demented freaks who would sooner go without food or shelter than a complete set of Australian chicken McNuggets in Halloween costumes. Obviously, no shade if you fit that bill, because clearly I am part of the same club. Oh, and just a PS, yes, you can remove the costumes. And without them, they just look like toxic chicken McNuggets, which honestly might be even cooler. Okay, we are up to the last item, which is also the weirdest item. Back in 1994, for reasons known only to Ronald himself, McDonald's sold bags of musical Halloween treats. Now these were not Happy Meal toys. They were sold in places like Walmart. The idea was that instead of chocolate, you would pass out little plastic instruments to trick-or-treaters. Uh, noble mission, even if it was a little weird coming from a place that sold Big Macs and milkshakes. You know, as weird as these things were, I always was a big proponent of getting a few oddball trinkets when you went trick-or-treating just to kind of like diversify your loot. And what could be more oddball than a tiny plastic saxophone with some vague tie to Ronald McDonald? I'm gonna play a little song and before your eyes Up will come McDonald's fried guys They'll rock and roll Press and dance out And wait till you see what all the music's about Okay, I am going to stop here, but for the record, I could easily spend another two hours showing you all of the random Halloween stuff from McDonald's that I've accumulated. I mean, even in this one room, it's kind of all over the place. I know some of you are confused by all of the obsessive McDonald's Halloween nostalgia that you're seeing online. All I can say is that those old Happy Meals and the spooky TV commercials and the fact that McDonald's was always the primary sponsor of the biggest animated Halloween specials, all of that stuff left a mark. I would say that pretty much everyone, even within 10 years of my age, has at least one really big Halloween memory associated with McDonald's. Most of us have many. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we're getting pretty close to Halloween, so if our paths do not cross again, I hope you have an excellent October 31st, and um, good luck collecting all of those boo buckets.